And we're back! Today we're trying to make a $50 million profit in NBA 2K24. Now, if you ever played the game, you'll notice on the bottom of the screen it gets your record, your chemistry, your fan interest, and your profit. I don't necessarily know as of right now how the profit is calculated, but that's part of the video. We're gonna learn it, we're gonna try to execute. Because according to 2K, right now, uh, the 76ers are deep in a hole about 100 amps. Then we got 200 amps if you the Bucks, And then 100 amps if you the Bulls. The profitable teams, I mean, oh, $250 million in debt for the Clippers. Like, yeah, I don't know how they, how they tally this, but some profitable teams. Uh, uh, hold on, I'm going to have to rethink this whole video. I said I'm gonna make a 50 million profit. You try to tell me there's not a single profitable team in the association right now according to 2K? All right, I'm gonna try my hardest to turn a profit and try to get it the highest as possible, but we start off with a fantasy draft, of course. As always, we have to randomly select our team. I'm, I'm gonna let it go for a couple seconds because I've been seeing some comments about Kenny Reagan this, Kenny Reagan never stopping in three and two and one. We're running with the Milwaukee Bucks, a medium-sized market team i don't even know if that matters bucks fourth pick i'm just getting lucky recently y'all what can i say i'm just getting lucky uh, all right so we have the fourth overall pick i think that actually got us Giannis, if, if i read that correctly so that would be kind of cool to keep Giannis here in milwaukee for an entire career again i don't know exactly how to get my profit right but we're gonna do some some research and we're gonna figure that out oh our profit is already 32 million huh um GG's. Uh, challenge over? I d how did they? How did we calculate that? Okay, so let's go to finances, team finances. So here's our revenue and our expenses, right? So uh, it it looks pretty good. That that's how you determine <laughs> your profit loss. Uh, our expenses are pretty low, and that okay. So our payroll is low. Our actual um, staff payroll and our player payroll is low. Operations low team. Okay. Okay. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take control of all of the teams and then I'll pick the whatever team has the lowest margins or profit. That's the team I'll take over. Oh my god, minus 41 million, 50 million. <laughs> oh man. Okay. It might be that's oh no, the Lakers are the worst. The Lakers. Oh my god! I have to turn a profit for this? Minus 400 million Dallas Mavericks. That's the team we're in control of today. Minus 400 million. The team has, oh, that's why. Look at all of the contracts. Oh my God. It's one of the most expensive teams ever. Now we do have a, I kind of like these three up top. Now they're old, it's an old, old team. Um, okay, so actually that's not a quick, quick fix, but like some of that we can remedy right here, right now, just by trading away some of the bigger contracts. But we do need to get, how is our merchandise only 2 million? Like we don't got LeBron in our, LeBron himself is bringing, you know what I'm saying? Like them jersey sales that Bron be having. Jersey sales, oh, they haven't started yet. Okay, so that might change. It's at 2 million now. So we 100% are keeping Bron. I should also try to get some other players that's going to, like James is going to sell jerseys. James has a elite high leverage uh, of fan base. But you know what? Let's, let's go trade some of these people that are making big money. Like... I can't, I can't pay Jordan Clarkson $23 million a year to come off my bench. I'm sorry. Now, I still want to be good, though. But I can't, I, I want to save some money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to do a good deal that will save us some money. Like, Kevin Herter drops us in overall a little bit. But he's only making 15 opposed to, oh, Jordan Clarkson's contract goes down by $9 million next. So, low-key, I might keep him around. Because this is not a one-year challenge. I'm not turning a half a million dollar debt team into $50 million. Um, wait, half a billion dollar debt team. Sheesh. I'm gonna trade it for Trent Wofford. We just, we just, our profit just like cut in half. Do we just need to trade all the big contracts? Is that the whole video? Do we trade Rudy Gobert? Oh, I want to keep you, Rudy. I swear I do, but I'm gonna have to get you out of here, big fella. Like Jaron is making significantly less money, but they want to give us CJ. I don't need that. Um, but like, yes, a good example. Jared Allen, oh, higher overall. Now we are getting in Buddy Hill too, which I don't love for the money aspect, but like that is a real nice center that is cheap for how good he is. And he's only 25. Or go get a center on a rookie contract. We are now only $68 million in debt. Not too bad. And that's a contract that'll be on the books, very low value. 
for a long time. We don't have to pay our friendship going for a few seasons. So right now, the potential starting lineup is Harden, Rozier, Keldon, Braun, and Shen Goon. I don't love that for a championship contender. I won't lie. So I need to make some more moves. I actually might move Harden. I know I just talked about the jersey sales and stuff. Last year for his deal, he gonna want a big old bag. And again, we're trying to turn a profit. I can't, I can't get myself to pay him 30 plus million dollars next year because I know he's gonna regress. So we need to find somebody else. Now, this is not gonna do good for our profit stuff, but I wanna also win because I think winning is gonna help us sell more tickets and stuff, get the fan interest up. So yes, that's a lot of money for Trey Young, but Trey Young uh, with Alperin, Shingun, and Braun. Now we might might not be defending like crazy, but I like it. We definitely have to move Terry Rozier for a bigger bigger wing or bigger shooting guard because Trey Young and Terry Rozier in the backcourt together, that sounds like a nightmare um, for me as the, the, the guy that has to coach them defensively. Let's go get a very good young player. Not young player, he's about to be 30. A very good defensive player and Alice Caruso. I think he fits there perfectly. Braun been wanting AC back with him in the first place, so we made it happen. James Booknight has to go. George Yang has to go. Contracts are too big for your production. And you know what? Booknight might have some decent value. Two-star value. Okay, so no. But we, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. again, we do want to win games. So we have to find that good balance. Like DFS feels like a guy that should be on my team if I want to win, right? He's 30 though. But he feels like a guy that should be on the championship level team. Aaron Wiggins. Oh, we move him back over to the three. Aaron Wiggins is a really good pickup right now. I'm not going to think twice about it. Aaron Wiggins, Wiggins, welcome to the team. Okay, so we make him to a three. His overall goes up to an 80. Wow, that's insane. That is insane. Shout out to Wiggs. And yeah, it can only be one Wiggs in the league at a time. All right, Andrew, I'm sorry. Defense is bad, though. Nah, we'll be all right. <laughs> we'll be all right. I don't love Keldon in 2K, so I might flip Keldon, too. Uh, with Christian Coloco, who's on the last year of his deal. Oh, Torian Prince last year of his deal. 100% him. 100, I'm not bringing him back. One of the best contracts in basketball. What can I say? Kobe White, welcome to the team. He progresses well. He's going to be a backup for us. I actually really, really like that. Um, they want Buddy Hield and Trey Young together. I'm sorry. That can't be my backcourt. <laughs> it just can't. It just can't be my backcourt. But right now, our profit is minus 20, 25 million, which again is pretty bad, but it's better than what it was. We are slowly but surely getting it right. I'm actually going to trade Buddy Hield for a first round pick. We're going to put Alex Caruso back in that starting lineup. Cool. I don't hate the team. It ain't perfect for sure. It's definitely not perfect, but it, it worked. Um, do we need to win a championship? Let's see. Oh, the profit is at minus. Oh, it's at minus nine million, nine four. Oh, it's going up every day. Oh, this is about to be easy. Challenge accepted. Challenge almost over. I, it's gonna vary. It's definitely gonna vary. And I'm seeing. Okay, so let's do an experiment. It's at seven point seven right now, right? Let's win this game. We lost and it went down. If we win this right now, it's at eight point two. We win and now it's a seven point seven. Okay, this right here is an away game, right? It went up a little bit with a win home game it went down with loot so we need to build a really really good team that's what i'm learning okay all right so back to the drawing board at least a little bit uh we got two huge contracts and then people making not a lot of money which i think is clutch uh okay all right i need to buy in a little bit more with this team josh green probably can't be my starting small forward i got i probably got a you know, level it up a little bit at my small four position, which is fine. You know, I'm okay with that. Even if that means I bring in some extra salary, you know, winning basketball games is going to cure everything. I like Marcus Smart, 18 M's. So far this season, he's been awful. We also bring in Grant, Grant Williams contract is too big for this challenge. Dang, we're not, we're not there just yet. We're not there with whatever trade package we just tried to put together. That's not going to get it done. I'm so I'm so stupid. L look at this. Look at this. We're going to make this trade. P.J. Washington and Jerry Vanderbilt. Bro, LeBron can run small four. What am I? I was so hell-bent on finding a small four. I just forgot that LeBron can just run that position for us. And now we're good. You know, now we're just good. Um, Wiggins' secondary position will probably be four. Trey Young doesn't get one. But now we can either have P.J. Washington or Jerry Vanderbilt starting. Either way, I feel okay with it. Last trade we need to do is go get a center that can back us up. And that's wraps. That's maybe. We'll see. I mean, we still have to wait and see. Now, I do. You see, I've traded all of my own first round picks, but I do have other teams' first round picks. So we will be in the draft if we need to. Don't want to give a first round pick for a backup center, though. So let's let's switch that to a second. All right, bring Mace back. We just trade him away. Bring him back. Okay. So there it is. This is like a pseudo Lakers team or Lakers past and future. Future. Maybe. Maybe. All right. First game after those trades. Minus 17, now down to minus, eight, minus 18. 
minus 17. We just need a nice win streak. Just give us a nice win streak. 17, 16, 15. We're kind of adding an extra million every win. Oh, now it's, it's not extra million every win. But big win streak, boys. Big win streak. Trade deadline is here. We are minus 12 million in the tank, which again is a lot better than what we started at minus 400, 400, whatever. Braun is fourth in jersey sales. Trey Young is 17th in jersey sales. So we'll take that. I ain't mad at that. We got two top 25 players in, in revenue generated just by being great guys. And then um, our expenses for our payroll is minus 50, 150 million. Again, that's going to be tough to, to get up. Um, it says that our gate is only 88 million, which I guess we can, we're definitely going to be able to track from year to year. Most of our money is coming from media. Um, and then with the expenses and stuff, it's a little bit rougher, but I don't know what else we can really do to improve it this year. I think we just got to ride it out, get some, um, some playoff revenue from the getting home games. You know what I'm saying? So just keep it going. 12 million in the tank right now. Oh, that, I hope that bring us some extra revenue. Braun with an MVP at 39 years old. The, the young old age of 39 years, years old. We won 60 games this season. So we'll take that. All NBA first team, obviously. 13 for Trey Young. Defensive team for Alex Caruso. Defensive team for LeBron James at the age of 39. He was completely locked in. All right. Um, I'm curious. Now, it's not on the screen anymore. So we might have to keep flipping back and forth. Our profit loss right now is minus 11 million. Okay. Let's, let's see if that goes up. When we sweep the Sacramento Kings or something. I don't know if we're going to sweep them. But we beat the Sacramento Kings in the playoff series. They got Anthony Davis, Bradley Beal, Cole Anthony, Miles Bridges, and A.J. Griffin. I feel good about that. We win in seven. Wow. Um, and one by one in game seven. Wow. I need to lock in because I did not expect that. I thought we were about to destroy them. On the bright side, though, our profit is high because we got extra playoff home games. Uh, going to game seven was a low-key, sneaky, sneaky thing to do. We know we sold a lot of tickets in that game. Okay, wait, let's lock in. Denver has Ja, Desmond Bain, Vince. This is this is just the Grizzlies and Kuzma and Nurk. Okay. Um, we need to win some home games. Thank you. We need to maybe have them win so we can get a couple extra home games. Oh, my God. It might be happening. We get a game seven. But now I'm going to treat the game seven like it is a game seven. Shorten that rotation. Braun is playing a bunch. Here we go. I just, I tried to simcast it. Didn't need to. Braun, MVP of the league, 43, 11, and 13. So we went to two game sevens. That's a lot of playoff revenue. It's at minus six right now. Yes, let's go. Okay. Okay. But then again, it says current playoffs. It says the current playoffs is negative 18 million. So what is going on? But it also say current playoffs is plus 19 million. So, you know, expenses is 17 million. The playoff is 19 million. So we walk out feeling all right. All right, we walk out feeling okay. All right, so we got minus 6 million. Um, we're going against the two-seeded Pelicans. Jamal Murray, Donovan Mitchell, Gordon Hayward, Aaron Gordon, and Clint Capella, a well-constructed team. Really impressive playoff backcourt. They're down 2-0. Yep, take a game or two. Give a, Get us some extra games. All right, we're in the NBA Finals. It probably... Didn't go that long because we shortened that rotation. Braun versus Paul George in the NBA Finals. Here we go. Now, I think I have to take a mental screenshot of this now. We are minus four. We're almost in the green. Won game one. Lost game two. Win game three. Lose game four. Lose game five. No. Hello? Um. They are at home for game six. We did have home court advantage. Simcasting it. Simcasting it. I need this game seven at home in Dallas. If we could walk out with three game sevens, I don't care if we even win the game seven. That's how much I'm thinking about revenue. Oh my God, we won by one. We won by one again in a game seven, on a game six to force a game seven. Having three game sevens is probably terrible for LeBron James's knees, but it's amazing for our profit. And we win game seven. Boom, Bron. See, I know what you need to win. And it was a convincing one. All right. You're not retiring on me, though. Best believe you're not retiring on me. <laughs> we need you to run it back. Them jersey sales was too crazy for me to let you just walk for nothing. No. You're coming back to Dallas. Now, I could be kind of dirty here. I could be kind of dirty here. Right? And say, hey, Jared Dudley, that $1 million expense that you have on the coaching staff, I don't want. Uh, we have no scouts. 
We have no team doctor. It's <laughs> actually, you know what? I don't even want to control. Go ahead and hire a coaching staff, please. Because I actually, I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that. That would have been crazy to be like, fire everybody. It's just Jason Kidd on the bench by himself. No training staff, no nothing. Just Jason Kidd. All right, so this is a very crucial offseason because, of course, we need to keep LeBron James. He's got 21 offers. None of them are good. So, LeBron, I also don't want to give you 40 million if you ain't got no other contracts. So, here go, here go 35 million, old man. Come on, come back. LeBron is back. Is there any loose ends? We're going to have to trade Caruso right now. Caruso drops down to a 77 overall year, too. I've just, I've just played this game a little bit too much. I know that to be a fact. He drops down a lot. So, we need to... F Ooh... Now, Quentin Grimes is not going to have the same over. Oh, my God. He was awful last season. Never mind. I'm going to trade him to the Atlanta Hawks for an unprotected first round pick. That pick looks ridiculously juicy. I just had to take it for the time being. We'll we'll figure the rest out. Our starting shooting guard position is up in the air right now. And I'm okay with that. Because that, that pick looked too crazy for you to pass up on. I cannot lie. I'm going to trade for P-Watt. Because he is an interesting player. Yeah, his overall doesn't change no matter what position you give him. So he's going to run shooting guard for us this season. And I'm also going to trade away Chris Boucher. I don't need $10 million. Somebody give me a second round pick for him, please. I do not need an extra $10 million player that's not going to play. Damian Lee in a second. Thank you. And you know what, Damian? You're not safe either. I'm letting you go too. You're going to free agency. Oh, no, not free agency. Somebody's giving me a pick for Damian Lee. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. So right now, uh, I'm okay with that. Let's go get a, a cheap a minimum backup center do i bring plum back his overall is gonna drop kevin love's overall is gonna drop mo bamba for a minimum all of my free ac sign is gonna be minimums because i'm a i'm a cheap owner at this point i'm i'm one of those owners that everybody hate but you can't hate me too much because i did just help y'all win a championship you know so you got to trust me trust me play progression Bron's gonna drop of course kobe only jumped up one i've seen simulations where he jumped up two to three so i'm not too understanding maybe it's just because he's a backup instead of a starter getting backup minutes i don't know but I'll, i mean i'll take it moment of truth going into year number two our profit is a plus three m's ladies and gentlemen the guys the guys we're a profitable team finally man what a turn of events you know what a and then we could we could get even more profitable if i just send pj washington away um which is, I guess, a possibility. He wasn't even good for us last season. PJ, you're getting moved. My G, you're getting moved. That 15 minutes is a little bit too high. What I tell you about Alex Caruso? I see, I, be I know Alex Caruso. He dropped by a lot, bro. Just too much. I have so much salary cap that it's ridiculous. B-Ball Paul, welcome to the team. You're running the four. You're running the four for us. Um, Because Mo Bamba can't do that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Okay. Let's get this back to a 10-man rotation. Everything looks a little bit better. Luke Kennard is starting. Nah, I'm actually going to start Kobe White. It's your time, Kobe. I need to see that player progression I know you can have. You're a shooting guard now. It is your time to shine, buddy. No, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. So you're going to start for us. We are plus 12 million in profit. We need to... Oof, this is going to be tough. Because we all... Like, the team is not great. I will say that. Yeah, this team is not great. But we need to be great in order to hit our mark. Um, we also have to think about the fact that LeBron is going to retire after this season. So what do we do when that happens? Uh, future me have figured that out. Be good enough. Right now, we're good enough. Right now, we are good enough. Can I not adjust the ticket prices? I want to... <laughs> that sounds crazy. Um, imagine. I could just be like, it costs $20,000 $20, to get into the arena. It's going to be somebody to pay for it. Nah, let's just go. Let's just sim. Season 2 is wrapped. Doug Christie... Uh, ju junior i would assume but then again don't look like it would be doug christie kid all right so and most approved clutch player yes he went to 30 <laughs> 30 ppg oh my god all right so um we are the dallas mavericks i had to think about that brian is second team evan mobley's second team okay mo oh okay hey, mo i see you defensive teams uh no not this year we end up being the two seed okay moment of truth what is that profit looking like please tell me it's good plus 15 plus 15 historical historically speaking um we have zero playoff revenue dollars because we ain't played them just yet we have pretty much been the same in advertisement and in merchandise we have more money when it comes to the gate which is dope and more money when it comes to media from last year so we are getting progressively better this playoff revenue is what we need the most though that's gonna put us over the top at least for the time being so we are two seeds, so it's not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed. We're going to get Utah Jazz in the first round. 
Jazz is going to have Terry Rozier, Anthony Edwards, Bam Adebayo, Sar Thompson. It's a pretty solid team. They got my boy Mezzi starting at the four. Um, I think that's where we could probably take advantage of them a little bit. 2-1 them. Or 2-1 us, I mean. We get a... Do, do we want a game seven? We kind of do. I'm sorry. Now, the problem with wanting a game seven is, of course, it's game seven. You're losing. you out. But then again, that extra that extra game. I'm telling you, that extra game will go a long way. We are plus 18 when it comes to the profit. Um, what, what do we do? We just straight up some cast. I'm not even going to think about it twice. We got LeBron James on our team. They don't. Ah, uh, maybe they didn't eat him. Ah, uh, that is tough. Um, a late push, please? Nine point game, 12 point game. Yep. Well, we got a little bit of playoff revenue. Uh, and I mean, when I say a little bit, I mean that. Uh, I mean a lot less than what we did last year. Dang. We almost got $40 million in playoff revenue last year, making it to the finals. This year, not so much. Not so much. Okay. Well, the, the tough decision is about to start happening now because LeBron James is probably retiring. And we can't tell him not to retire anymore. Yep. Ah, what do we do? <laughs> I don't know what we do at all. Okay, we're going to act like that didn't happen. We're going to continue our season. We have the fourth overall pick. Boom. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. We build through the draft or something. Um, hmm, Or something. Let's trade. Like, if I wanted to get a star right now, I could. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. If I wanted to get a star right now, I could. I really, really could. Um, But should I? You know, it's, you know, it's, a, it's just like, just because you could do something, don't mean you should do something, is what my grandma used to tell me. So, that's where my head is at. I, I think we keep the pick, man. I honestly do think we keep the pick. I do believe we trade Vanderbilt, though, but with the 20th overall pick, not with the 4th overall pick. I'm trading it for a younger and better Gigi Jackson. Gigi, I need, your, I need you to progress to at least an 81-82 this season. I didn't do any scouting, um, so let's get into this pick. I didn't do any scouting. I didn't think we were going to have this high of a pick. Ah, that sucks. Uh, we don't need another point guard. Even though this guy's 18, you know I like drafting an 18-year-old player. We got this 19-year-old Brad Soto, who we did do some scouting on. He might be Larry Hughes or CJ McCollum. No, you can't. What? Ew. 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 That player looks bad. This draft class looked bad. Hello? All these old dudes up front, and then the young dudes don't look good either. Who got? Who's got the real potential here? Nobody. This is a wasted draft pick. This this draft class is trash. They said Gary Payton. Ooh. Now you're two guard. He's six six two guard. Ooh. Barry Levingston. Six six two guard. Can't score. Can't really pass or nothing. But that defense is kind of insane. Ninety five perim as a rook. Now he's twenty two, and he's projected eighteen. So you don't draft him now. But it's an interesting player to think about. Brad Soto is the only guy we've done scouting on. He can't do anything. Um, except for him. He's somewhat fast when he's dribbling. But he's 6'7". Hmm. But he's 6'7", y'all. What's the potential? A. Hmm. He's 6'7". A tall shooting guard. I'm telling you. That is the recipe I'm drafting him. Probably not the smartest pick. I, t I, I'm going my gut. My gut say the tall shooting guard is the way. And we got some people underneath him that were better. This point guard looks really solid. Seven badges from Pepperdine. Can shoot it really well. But we got Trey Young. We didn't need another point guard. This guy, three-point threat. Uh, he's 21. We got the 19-year-old. I mean, we didn't have the first pick. That, now, this guy is going to be amazing. Rashid Galloway, that guy is going to be the best player in the league one day. Uh, but I think I think we did okay. I think we did okay. Now I don't know what we do because we don't have Braun. Uh, we're plus 21 profit team, but that's gonna go away because we gotta sign somebody. We got 40 something million to use, so it, it, it's probably not gonna end up that bad. Paul George, the old self is here, but we can't do that. Wig said he won't. Oh, he would. Okay, I thought he said he wouldn't uh, talk to us. All right. I mean, I'm not against bringing you back. After I look to bring somebody else into the team. I don't know if I had a good offseason, a bad offseason. I didn't sign somebody to replace LeBron, okay? Alperin Shingun only jumped up one. Gigi Jackson only jumped up one. Yikes. Ugh. That's okay, I hope. I, ho I, I gotta say I hope, because I don't. I literally don't know. Uh, we, we're back to the negative. Um, I'm gonna make it so that Alperin Shingun and Kobe White get more touches and more shot attempts, because those guys can potentially be our savior. Haha. <laughs> Gigi Jackson, can you come save us? Ha ha. Um, a 10-man rotation again. A very fluid team. It's not a good team. 
Um, well, it's not a great team. It's at least a good team. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> I think the only way you do this is if you build a young dynasty. Can we take a look around the league and see what everybody else is, is looking like when it comes to their profits and stuff? $1 million profit is the best we see so far. Everybody, oh my God, who is on this Knicks team? Joel Embiid, Darius Garland. How, is it because they're in New York? Dang. The Lakers, super profitable too. KD. I, I, I think it's market bias. Brooklyn is part of New York. It might be market bias, y'all. Then again, the Raptors. The Raptors are a big market. The Raptors are a really big market. Hey, we might have been set up for failure by being in the medium. What team are we? Actually, Dallas is a big market. I can't even say nothing. Dallas is a big market. Never mind. I was trying to give myself an excuse to say why we ain't doing it yet. I can't. It ain't it, it. ain't it. I think I need to trade for somebody that will get us um, really good jersey sales or something. But we can't do that yet. Uh, we're probably not going to be great for the first half of the season. I need to wait until the first return on jersey sales. That's my new shift. I'm going to try to accumulate multiple players that are in the top 10 to 15 in jersey sales. Just if my team is okay right now, we gonna make some moves. Even if he is really old. In what world would Steph Curry drop all the way down to 16th in jersey sales? Number one in the league is Zion Williamson of the Grizzlies. Let's see if the Grizzlies are good. They are the one seed and they, yeah, ah, that hurts, that hurts. And he's a 95? Oh, no way, we don't have the assets for that. Okay, back to the drawing board. I didn't think he was gonna be a 95. I didn't think he was going to be a 95 at all. Back to the drawing board. Tatum. Yeah, these, yeah, the top 10 guys overalls are 95 plus. Ugh. Our, you know, Trey Young guy, Trey Young fella, he's just not going to be good enough to get the jersey sale. So we got to flip him, I think. I throw him and Greg Mayer. And don't ask me nothing about Greg Mayer. I don't know who, who that man is. Jalen Brown is there. That's not it. Tatum. Tatum, welcome to the team. Tatum is one of the guys. I thought, uh, yes, number two. Okay, all right, good start, good start. He's the number two in jersey sales. Um, Alperen Shingun, Josh Green, and then the Spurs pick. We got to keep it moving. I did see Scotty Barnes was on that list. He now how high is he? I don't know. Um, ooh, Trey Young come back. Lamelo, they want two first round picks, but they give us Walker Kessler. Lamelo was on that, or, or, or Scotty Barnes was on that list, right? He was on that list. I'm going to throw them the Jazz pick, too. That's a lot of draft capital. Maybe not great draft picks, but draft picks nonetheless. Can we somehow... Let, wait, let's go look at teams that are good and bad. Like, is any selling team... Oh, nobody's selling right now. We're not close enough to the deadline. Uh, like, how are you... Why are y'all buying? Y'all are bad? <gasps> I need y'all to switch from buying to selling. Because if we can snag Shea... I'm going to go to the around the deadline. And we'll see if, they're, if they switch to selling. If we can snag Shea, and we will have Shea and Jason Tatum, first of all... We gonna win games, but second of all, that's an extra couple million a year just just off jersey sales alone. We're still in the red, man. We got a hundred percent fan interest, so we're gonna sell arenas. We have a good team. Oh man, it's so frustrating. Okay, let's see if somebody is now selling. It's okay. So there are some selling teams: Kyrie Irving, Porzingis. Then we have. Brandon Ingram. Clippers are still buying. I'm going to still talk to the Clippers about Shea. I know they're buying. That makes it even more difficult to, to make that trade happen. I'm going to try it, man. I, ha I have to. Because what are y'all doing buying right now? There's Alperin Shingun. You could take Josh Green. Oh, no, no, no. You take you take the young player. I don't care about that, that young player. Brad Soto. You could take Gigi Jackson, too, if you really need to. Um, and then we give you the Spurs pick, the Utah pick. The Charlotte pick, our pick, boom, that's the best we got. Like, if that ain't if that ain't interesting enough to you, I can't give you nothing else. You could take P-Watt, give us back your worst player, who's Mo Bamba, bring Mo Bamba back to the team. Yeah, the Shea thing is dead. Unless, again, we go right to right before the deadline and the clip is like, you know what? We was bugging, and I think we should. I think we sh Bro, we were plus 15 million last year, and now we're back in the negative. That's bu I don't know if we can ever get to 50. And moment of truth, they're still buying. Wow, who's in charge over there? And why are they why are they selling our challenge? <laughs> why are you not helping me out in my challenge? I don't think I saw Kay Cunningham name on that list, but we need a point guard. Sorry, Kobe. Last year of his deal, he was gonna walk or won a bunch of money anyway. Um, I actually think we compete for a championship with this roster. Maybe I'm tripping. We'd have to shorten the rotation to nine instead of ten. But Tatum is ridiculous. What are you averaging this year, Tatum? I mean, 28 ridiculous and then Cade is averaging 26 only five assists per game 
which I think that's just fluky. I don't know. We're, we're back to the minimum or the negative by 3 million. This challenge is almost impossible for me right now. Going into playoffs this year, we are minus 4.5 million. It's bad. I have a new strategy for year number three. I don't even care. We're not going to do anything this year anyway. Uh, whew, I'm glad we didn't lose in the first round, though. Uh-oh. Conference finds appearance. So we do get some playoff revenue uh, to get it to plus. Oh, my God. 100,000 in the plus, baby. Conference finals. I maybe should have taken it a little bit more serious. We might be in the finals right now. All right. I got a different strategy going into this last year. Um, I just like having a rant retire. Dang. My fault, KD. Uh, my last strategy here. Is to trade everybody that's making any money. Trade them all. Trade them all. Jason Tatum. Ah, uh, we're keeping Jason Tatum because he's he's that 50 million is okay. I'm trade everybody else, and I'll show you what the roster looks like when I'm. And I do want to say I'm not even trying to build a competent team. I'm just I'm testing the waters on on something right now. All right, it will not be a good team at all. They might all be the same position. I I don't know just yet. That's bad. I drafted him the fourth overall pick. He only jumped up two. He he did develop no more badges. What a terrible, terrible pick that was. What a... T <laughs> I mean, I now, granted, I don't know what anybody else in the class is doing, but what a terrible, terrible pick that was. All right. So, new team looks like this. Woohoo. Um, we are plus 50 minutes. So, so, the, so, the only thing I needed to do was to trade away everybody that was making any money. That was the whole challenge. I could have been done with two minutes left. I mean, two minutes into this video. I make this... I trade away Brad Soto right here, right? I'm going to trade him away for somebody that's making no money. Mr. Park, $50 million in profit. That's all I needed to do was lower my salary cap. That was all I needed to do. Now, it's not going to stay $50 million because we're going to lose a ton of games. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, but, like, how fun is that? Man, back to the drawing board, man. Back to the drawing board. We, we did it. Woo! We got our profit to be half a, no, $50 million. Actually, the team is performing not terribly. Now, it's not a playoff, I mean, not a championship team for sure, but Tatum, hold on. Tatum got to be average to some crazy numbers then. Oh, it's Corey Kisper. Never mind, it's not him. It's Tatum's not even doing it. Who, <gasps> who are you? Oh, my God. You're averaging 25? I just threw you in a trade because you wasn't making no money. Wow. That's the turn. Hey, we technically did it. Technically. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, uh, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.